everybody, I'm Ian at KarateMart.com. I know who you are. And I'm Corbin. Also at KarateMart.com. What are we talking about today, Corbin? Today, we are talking about tonfa. What, what traditional implement was a tonfa before it was a weapon? Yeah, they were all hoes or rakes or something. Oh, it's actually, it's disputed. Nobody is certain. It could have been some crutches. You can imagine some sort of subterfuge. Some old man is like, oh, don't worry about me. I'm just an old man. And then passes by the... Still old, but also defeating you He's handily in a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some tonfa right here. The yes. Woodwinds. Wood tonfas. So these are ones, these natural wood tonfa, we've been selling those on the site for quite some time. These come in a variety of... A variety of sizes. But these come in, a, these come in several rough sizes. 14, 18... 20... 24. How long is that taunt fit? So these ones are 18s and they're a little bit short for me. See, it's got, I got a little bit of a buffer there mm. until, I mean, a, a little bit of an exposed area before my elbow starts. These do not fit me perfectly. Oh my gosh. Well, they fit me perfectly, I guess. That's because you have little stubby arms. Right? No, these are actually short. What you want as far as sizing is you want there to be sort of a, like, a, like about an inch past the elbow. That's the, that's the ideal. I would like to have that at least to my elbow, ideally a little bit longer. It's actually easier to get longer or shorter tonfa than to surgically alter your arms, muscular and skeletal structure. This is true, this is true. That's yeah. good advice, that's solid advice. Feedback from customers has told us that this is actually a lot simpler. You don't want it... Shorter than the elbow. You, know, you don't want it shorter than the elbow because it's like a defensive weapon. You hold it like this, and you're defending yourself. Or like that, to but I mean, it's offend. Offend would be like this. This is called gyakute. Gyakute! Whereas this is, this is honte. Honte! But this is like the defensive stance. You can thrust at people this way. You can block attacks. But see, I like, I like the blocking like this, and then the using that as like, you know, almost the blade edge. Like this, go, oh, my teeth! Right, but I could have greater reach and do the same thing. Actually, this way, the gyakute, sort of, uh, you can disarm people with it as well. Oh, I see. Yeah. I like this because you got more follow through. You don't have the leverage, but you can't um, put as much pressure with this as you can. Well, the so. trick is, as you're swinging it, you swing your arm, you swing your wrist, and you swing your hips. Oh, swing, so swing, you, swing. So you combine all three for greater power. See how fast it was with the block? It's a coordination thing. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the internal construction of these. That always happens. So Ian has deconstructed one of these tanfa to show you what the insides look like. It's just this and this. Oh, so it's two pieces. It's two pieces. It's two pieces. This is not whittled from a solid piece of wood. Okay. It's two pieces stuck together. And this is just some kind of generic softwood. It's not particularly heavy. Probably, you know, pine. Some sort of wood. Some, sort, a... of, some sort of wood. Just a generic wood with a nice... Well, it's got a decent urethane finish on it. And they come apart, you know, occasionally. Like this, the handle can come out of these. Just wood glue, stick them together. The handle has this sort of, like, tapering right here. The, uh, the tsuka gashira, little pommel here, and it's like an inch long. And that keeps your grip from slipping as you're doing whatever. You have something to hold on to. Mm -hmm. this. But there wouldn't be slipping, it would just be like this. So these natural wood tanfa are really nice. Some people are a little concerned about the naturalness of the tanfa. They say, I want something completely unnatural. Do you have tanfa made out of something completely man-made that is indestructible and non-biodegradable? So if someone wants something completely synthetic and man-made and they're tired of this natural stuff. Something that if they, if, they, if they burned it and inhaled it, they would get cancer. Indeed we do. Yes, we do. Something toxic, we got that. So this is the indestructible plastic tonfa. Indestructible plastic tonfa. Now, now these ones come in just the 23 inch variety. So if your arm length from the tip of your finger to your elbow is longer than 23 inches, you're going to have an unprotected elbow. So but I'm six foot one and I have a pretty good wingspan and this is, this has, I have some room to grow here. There are some people who are knuckle draggers. Are these sold in a set? 
Yeah, yeah, this is a set okay, of tomes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and these are one solid piece of polypropylene. Yeah, they certainly are. And you can see, you know, if you're a plastics expert like I am, you oh. can see the injection mold marks on this thing. Oh. So this is actually, I mean, like, this is injected the whole way along. So this looks like a police baton. It does kind of have that look to it. Mm -hmm. uh, police batons are uh, typically used singularly. These, uh, tonfas, as a pair. So you can either get one pair of tonfa or you and your partner can walk the beat with a non-lethal weapon. On the cold streets of Metropolis, the cold hard streets. Now that Superman is gone, is that what you're trying to is say? Is that where they live? Is the city called Metropolis? Metropolis, yeah. Metropolis, Greek for mother city. Uh, yeah, and so these are these are just a pound, so they're pretty light. Are, they, and they, do you saw the wood one? Yes, it's right here. Okay. A little heavier. Yeah. This is a little heavier, but not much. So, Similar. so Ian has the ability to gauge the weight of something just by holding it, even though he's not a weightlifter. I mean, he's a weightlifter, but he's not a bodybuilder. How dare, how he's dare a, you? He's not a bodybuilder. Well, he's how a bodybuilder, but not a bodybuilder. How dare you? I am an accurate weight guesser in the two ounces to three pounds range. Shipping weights. I've done a fair amount of shipping. I've also done a fair amount of building, and I can generally gauge the size of a nut. I mean, I can usually see a quarter twenty nut from across the room. So you're good with weight, you're good with nuts. I'm good with weight, I'm good with nuts. So which one is harder? That's an interesting question. Which one is harder? The wood one is harder. There's no flex to this. You get a little bend, but it's going to start to crack. This, I mean, I can bend it. You can see there's a little flex to it, right? You have to press very hard for that, um, but the wood is definitely harder. Which one is stronger in terms of resisting bending? The wood's going to be stronger. How much bending can it take before it breaks? The plastic's going to be stronger. But, like, which one will deal more damage? The, as far as damage dealing and longevity and how much abuse it can take, the plastic one wins hands down by a mile. Well, I've got something that wins hands down by a hundred miles. It's out of the way. This has been in my lap the whole time. My legs are asleep. These are the solid aluminum tops. These are fresh out of the Ninja Forges. Yes. They come in this little vinyl bag. So these are very heavy. Solid aluminum. This is a 6,000 series aluminum. It is super tough. Uh, we machined this whole thing out. We got a big sturdy bolt holding it together, so no glue here. It's similar to the natural wood tonfa in that it's two pieces. Yes. But there's no glue involved. It's got this solid bolt, so you don't have to worry about it coming out and having to glue you it. You do not have to worry about this coming out. And then it's a little bit different too. It's it's kind of it's modeled after a traditional wood tonfa. All the traditional ones though have this four-sided profile. Boom boom, right? Uh, we did this out of a six-sided, it's got a six-sided hexagonal profile. So I think it's a little cooler look. Yeah, that actually fits more with your hand anyway, your grip. Boom, so you can hold it this way, but boom, you this way, you can hold it. There's, there's no way that you can strike someone with this and not be looking at felony charges. You don't want to hold it this way. You don't have that tapered grip like you got right here. You don't hold it like it's a comma. That's ridiculous. Well, yeah, but if I hit you with this thing like oh that, then it would be a devastating blow. Yeah, this tonfa, the wood tonfa, you hit somebody like this, you're going to jail for assault. This tonfa... Prison for murder. And also terroristic threats. But then, and also, and what's great about these two is, let me see this one. You know, if you're practicing, I'm not gonna swing around because I don't wanna want accidentally hit you. But these are the, you know, and we have a lot of weapons like this that are made out of, that are overbuilt out of some type of metal. They're thicker than they need to be. They're heavier than they need to be. And they, they make a great training implement yeah. because you get used to and you build the muscles for something that's heavier than the real thing. Mm -hmm. When you switch back to something like this or these plastic ones, the movements are incredibly easy. Kind of like putting weights on the legs of the Clydesdale so that they step higher. Same thing, except for you swing harder. Yeah, yeah, and PETA has no problem with it. None at all. PETA from Hunger Games. 
Yeah, this is uh, 20 inches. Oh yeah, and these are only available in the 20 inch size. Yeah, so this part, this longer part is 14 and a half inches. This part is five and a half inches, which matches the handle. Yeah. Also five and a half inches. And then that 14 and a half inches from here to here, that's, you want to measure from this, the inside of your thumb to your elbow. And these 20 inches, I would say perfect for me. So those are our wood, plastic, and metal tanfa, all available on our website. You can check the links in the description. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, share. And social media is our favorite thing, right? Yeah, do social media. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Sometimes we even snap. We do snap occasionally. Also, be sure to file your taxes. April 15th is coming up. Oh boy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. It's a tonfa. <laughs>